So this is the 40 watt laser diode module from Xtool. Now on my channel, I actually reviewed this a few weeks ago and I think I was kind of wrong about it. So as this weird YouTube relationship thing works, I post the video, you guys watch it, and then you write a bunch of comments. And usually, actually, the comments are pretty good. You guys are really, really respectful and usually really, really helpful. And there were definitely a few things people were pointing out that I just got completely wrong, as well as a few things I wanted to address as a follow-up to this machine. Right now, to get this unit, you actually have to retrofit an existing Xtool D1, so either the 10 watt or the 20 watt. Then you change a few things out and you're able to drop in this 40 watt unit. Now, I did not think you could actually put in other modules as a result, but you guys were quick to tell me that that was not the case. So that's actually a really nice positive. So on the back of this guy, you have a couple different wire connections. And this is actually why I thought you couldn't do it because you normally only have one of these connections. You can actually drop in some other modules. And so I have several here. This is the original 10 watt that came with the first machine that they sent me to review. So this is actually the 20 watt module that came with this machine originally. So on the back side, you have one of those connectors. So you're able to just drop it in and then connect it right up. And there's actually one big reason that you would want to use a less powerful module that we're gonna hit here in just one second. Now they've also come out with a infrared module as well. And this one I actually need to do a more dedicated video. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do with an infrared module like this. It opens up a bunch of different materials that you can engrave on that you just can't do with even their 40 watt module. But all that being said, the connector on the back of this guy as well is the exact same. So you're able to drop this in and then connect it directly onto your machine. Now both of these also have the really nice dovetail on the back side that kind of slot in this connector and then it just drops directly down. Now really my main drawback about this machine was just that this is really expensive. This module itself is actually a thousand bucks plus you've got to get the machine currently. So actually coming over to Xtool's website they had both of those as like separate product listings. They're actually bundling this together now so you can see you get this Xtool D1 Pro the 10 watt unit so you'll be getting a 10 watt module like this plus the 40 watt. Now I'm definitely guessing in the future that like retrofit thing that you have to do currently won't be something that you have to do, but just know you actually can just buy this all as a bundle all together. And again, currently that's for a price of 1700 bucks, which still is pretty expensive, especially what you can get kind of in that range, including that like Ohmtec Polar back there, which is a little over two grand. One thing I definitely want to address again has to do with this. So this is actually the uh, like the light guard filter or whatever you want to call this that goes on this unit and I don't have it on there because there's this like massive melted burn mark that is on it. And that is because I was doing my best to basically start a fire with this unit. In fact, I still have the little two by four that I was trying to cut through right over here. And I was running this at super high power at super low speeds, back and forth, back and forth to where eventually I just got enough embers inside of this two by four that it caught on fire and then it melted this guy. Now, when I actually posted this video, x was like, hey, could you like not include the fire portion? But one policy I have with these reviews is the companies really don't get like a first pass of things to include or take out when I'm doing just a straight up honest review. If it's a sponsored video, that's a little bit different. And I wanted to include the fire section just because these things still are very, very dangerous. You just want to be really cautious with these machines. Never leave them running by themselves. You just don't know what could happen. And a good rule of thumb is, especially with these higher power units like this 40 watt, you really don't want to run it super slow. You want to run it quick. Now, with all of that being said, these diode machines, especially with the integrated air assist, that is going to eliminate a lot of that risk of flare ups. Now, before we get into all the other things I got wrong about the 40 watt unit, I want to talk about one big thing that we got Right. There's actually one big thing my wife got right, and that was this kitchen renovation we did last year. I really do enjoy cooking. And that all collided with the fact that we have three kids, five and under. And if you have kids, you know that anytime you spend dedicated doing something that isn't with them, usually means they have time dedicated to doing something that you probably don't want them to do. And that is where this video's sponsor comes in, and that is Factor. They are a meal kit that is actually completely prepared for you. This one is chorizo chili. And on the prep side of things, all you have to do is stick it into your oven or your microwave and you're good to go. And one thing that surprised me from the get-go is when I got these out of the box, I wasn't putting them into the freezer. I was putting them into the fridge because 
because they are never frozen. Because when you see a box like this, you might be like, oh, that's just like a frozen meal that you get from the grocery store. Think more of this is like meal prep that you've done on the weekend and you put it in its own container. All you have to do is heat it up and you're good to go. Now we actually have done some other meal kit services in the past, but those still require you to do some prep work, whether it's shopping, cooking on the stovetop, there is gonna be some cleanup too. I enjoy all that, but it's still a lot. So having this as an option has been great. And that is especially nice when you compare that to the other end, when we're just getting takeout from restaurant like every night. Now, if you wanna check out Factor yourself, you can save 50% with my code, make or break shop 50 at the link down in the description. I definitely encourage you guys to check it out because one of the biggest ways you can support this channel is by supporting the sponsors. All right, let's jump back into it. Now, if you do go their bundle route, you'll wind up with that 10 watt and the 40 watt module. You might be like, what's the point of even having this on the machine? And there's one big reason, like we mentioned earlier, and that has to do with the laser dot size. So even though the laser beam is super small, there is going to be a thickness to it and that changes between companies and then especially changes between power. Because in order to have eight diodes inside of this, you have to have a lot more internal optics to be able to refract that down versus this 10 watt, which I think is just two. So the laser dot size on the 40 watt is 0.15 by 0.15 millimeters. On the 10 watt, let me make sure I have it right, this 0 0.08 by 0 0.06 millimeters. So a good bit smaller. Now where that's really going to come into play is when you're doing engraving. Let's take a look at test files from both of these modules and see what the size of the line is with a video microscope. Now you definitely can see there is a difference between the 10 watt and the 40 watt unit. So just know if you are going to do engraving and you wanna get the absolute thinnest line or dot possible, then the 10 watt might be the best route. But again, for some of the stuff that I do, I just can't see a massive difference between the two, but your use case might be a little different. Now these diode companies are crazy. It literally seems like we have something new coming out every single week. And in fact, you need to look out for what I think is going to be the closest competitor to this unit that I'm going to do a review of here very soon. And that is the 30 watt unit from Adam Set. But in the meantime, if you haven't seen the full review of this unit, we're gonna jump to that right now. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.